no time to move coastlines. There's no time for organisms to come into being in any other way than in a burst of creation, right? And so that was the prevailing idea. And when geology first started to develop, it was very much tied to, um, to biblical legacy, particularly the, the Noachian flood, right? And so early geologists would, would try to identify this layer and pin what they were doing to that. And they had identified basically like four cataclysms that they thought happened at you know, no great time in the past. And so earth history geology was kind of funny at that point because it, there was really no time with which to work, right? So it's really just describing what you see on the surface of the earth today. Um, so that's the world that Darwin is born into. Um, I like to you know, really think a lot about the, the young Charles Darwin. When we, when we think of Darwin, we think of this you know, aged, learned man with a big beard and he all looks like Father Christmas or, you know, I mean, but, you know, Darwin was once young, and Darwin was once a, a young, uncertain, unsteady, uh, you know, 20-year-old who didn't really know what he wanted to do with his life. His father and his grandfather were very successful. They considered Darwin a bit of an idler. Uh, his father <laughs> wrote to him that uh, you care for nothing but catching rats and shooting birds and dogs, and you will be a disgrace to your entire family. <laughs> um, and so his father packed him up and sent him to the University of Edinburgh uh, to become a physician. But Darwin was a very sensitive fellow, and he couldn't take the operating theater, and so that was not for him. Um, and so he didn't really know what he was going to do with his life. And he got an invitation to um, join a voyage that was supposed to just go to South America, ended up going around the world, to, uh, to be the ship's naturalist on the HMS Beagle. And really, at that time, you know, you have the, you've got the sailors, they're kind of the grunts, and you've got the officers on the boat, and this is really to just provide some companionship to the officers, right? Some good dinner conversation. And he had a bit of a reputation as a naturalist um, at that time. So to prepare for the voyage, he, he wants to, um, to know a little bit more about geology. So he goes to Cambridge professor uh, Adam Sedgwick, and he becomes Sedgwick's field assistant for three weeks before the voyage, going around the countryside, learning about uh, geology. 